On this episode of Renaissance Rulers, we take a look at Montezuma II, King of the Aztecs. Montezuma II was born in 1467 in Tenochtitlan. Nephew of Emperor Oxyacatl, Montezuma grew up fighting for the Tenochtitlan army and was a successful soldier and general. He gained distinction for suppressing a rebellion in 1502 and was crowned as the new leader later that year. The function of the Aztec government was very different from the rest of the world. The main purpose at this time was to keep the gods from killing them. War was used as a way of taking captives for sacrifices, rather than killing the opposition. Growing up as a witness to this, Montezuma would have been taught this purpose of war, and have been fully invested in it. These theories really shaped Montezuma. Montezuma also gained much new territory for the empire in a series of successful military campaigns from 1503 to 1510, and then crushed several rebellions within the empire. Montezuma was a diplomatic reformer of his time. Uh, he gained the respect of the nobility by removing commoners from the government and replacing them with noblemen. At the same time, he gained the respect of the Aztec commoners, making him one of the most powerful and aristocratic rulers in Aztec history. One belief of the Aztecs was that one day, the god Quetzalcoatl would arrive. It was said that long ago, Quetzalcoatl had been driven out by the god Tetzcalapoca for not being in favor of human sacrifices. Quetzalcoatl told Tetzalapoca, the patron god of the Aztecs, that he'd return from the east in a one-reed year. For Montezuma, the next one-reed year would be 1519, the year Cortes and his army of Spaniards would arrive. Many ill omens appeared to Montezuma leading up to the arrival of the Spanish army. Omens such as volcanic disturbance, spirit telling of doom, comets, and earthquakes. Montezuma's sister fell into a coma for four days. Believed to be dead, she was buried. She awoke and came and told them that strange beings would come and destroy them. Montezuma later had a similar vision in which he saw men coming armed for war mounted on deer. Montezuma placed men along the coasts to watch out for the arrival of Quetzalcoatl, who was believed to have white skin and a black beard. When Cortes arrived, matching this description of the feared god, Montezuma decided not to attack. Montezuma chose not to be particularly forceful with the Spanish. Uh, not wanting to make war with the gods, which would have been suicide, he welcomed them into a city where he was captured. Captive and living as a prisoner, Montezuma continued to rule the empire. He even managed to arrange a few rebellions and attacks on the men he now understood to be invaders from a distant land. By April 1520, however, Montezuma had lost power and credibility among the Aztec people. He was injured by some of his discontented subjects but it is not known whether he died by their hands or the Spaniards.